what's popping my collectors let's wipe out a fire ascension coming to get my aries your bonus reading i got gangster party playing now <clears throat> like um yo guy bun b and eight ball and mjg so we're gonna ground first and then we're gonna get into y'all love message remember to like share comment and subscribe Thank y'all for y'all love and support. Thank y'all for the personal do um, donations and readings. Let's get into y'all message. support comment y'all get the bonus reading because y'all have the most views so thank y'all so much for y'all love and y'all support i'm going to do music my sexual deck and romance tarot hopefully i had a good weekend and if you in a hot state like Texas, you stay hydrated and you stay. Ah, I guess those want to come out. Falling by Alicia Keys. So somebody is falling. And this is the same colors. So Aries, you're falling for somebody. Alicia Keys. Tonight by escape. So you're realizing now that you're falling for somebody. And then I got Motorsport, Nicki Minaj, and Migos. Nicki Minaj is a Sagittarius, and the rapper is a Aries, I want to say. So. This Aries is falling for someone. And they are heading towards this person to tell them. Motorsport is like the chariot card. So they're coming towards you fast to express how they feel about you, possibly tonight or in the next few nights. Hypothetically, at the bottom of the deck and dilemma so right now your person is in the head not really making no moves not expressing how they feel because they're scared scared of love pardoned by T.I. featuring Lil Baby so maybe you don't see this coming has this person been holding back? How they feel about you? Holding back what they feel about you? Trying to fight that they will fall for you. But they're realizing they can't fight how they feel about you no more. See? For love is only. Maxwell. This person got love scars. Young Blue. Young Blue is also Aries. And Maxwell is a Cancer. So I told y'all this person is in their feelings about how they feel about you, how they fall in love with you, and how they just can't stop themselves from falling. But their love scars is causing them to have a dilemma to come towards you. I hate you by SZA. SZA is a scorp. So this person hates the way that they feel about you, but they missing you. Kiss, missing y'all touch, missing y'all love. They fighting how they feel. But it's getting to them. Because they keep on falling for you and they feel like you are their lover. 
It feel like you a wish come true. This person is crying over you. Cry me a river. Trenches, Monica. So Monica is also a Scorpio. So either the person you're dealing with is a Scorpio. They hit you with that stinger. They want to come back to you. Cause shit, they love you and hate you at the same time. But whatever it is, they keep on falling. And y'all got Armageddon coming by Sammy. Sammy is a Pisces. So this person is going to come and blabber their feelings towards you after going through some shit. After like a tower moment. Receiving some love scars from a past relationship. They come in. They come in to tell you uh, Usher. Usher is a Libra. So they come in to balance, and balance out the scales with you because they feel like they've been through a lot. They're ready to open up their heart. Yolanda Adams is a Virgo because you give them the kiss of life. Sade, Sade is a Capricorn. So they want to come in, stabilize the situation, stabilize this love. Because they feel like you are their sweet lady. This person, I think, um, I think he's a cancer, but I'm not sure. Um, but they ready to come in to express how you their sweet lady. You give them the kiss of life. And... If this world was mine, they'd give you anything. Luther Vandross is a Taurus. So this person is now realizing that they want to open their heart to you, give you a kiss, hold on to this feeling, hold my mule, Shirley Caesar. She's also a Libra. So this person wants to come in revitalize this relationship express how they feel they want to come in fast they do have a lot of love scars from previous relationships or maybe this is you Aries that has a lot of issues from past relationships a lot of hurt that you've been trying to heal a lot of love scars that you've been trying to deal with so you can make yourself to be a better person because you want to see life with this person you see the world with this person gut feeling gut feeling by Ella May Ella May is a Scorpio so either y'all dealing with a Scorpio or y'all have Scorpio in y'all chart Nothing even matters by Lauren Hill. So at this point, nothing even matters with y'all and this connection. They don't care what people say anymore. Maybe they had to have a tower moment to realize what you meant to them. For them to open up their heart to you. Come in and tell you how they feel. Somebody been crying, but they realizing they falling for you. Maybe your kisses are magical. I'm hearing your kisses make them feel some type of way, and y'all are in separation right now time apart is on the horizon or either it's right in the present moment. The time that y'all have apart is giving y'all time to reflect on what this relationship means, what you mean to this person and what they mean to you. Someone has taken this relationship or this connection for granted. Since you've taken this relationship and connection for granted, 
the universe had to step in so both parties can see where they were going wrong, what they were doing wrong. Forgiving and learning. So as you release and heal the past, your experience toward coming towards the future, you'll have more beautiful memories. Maybe that's that tower moment that you had to experience or this person had to experience to realize and notice who you were. The separation that y'all are in, this person is realizing who you are because y'all needed the time out with this connection because somebody was trying to control the situation. Retreat and calling in your soulmate. So that's two calls confirming that y'all are in separation or y'all had to separate in order to be able to realize where this connection was going and what everyone wanted within this connection. You know that Gemini's represent a decision. So this is a love situation. So someone is realizing what's going on. Someone is realizing this connection. Someone is realizing that this separation is for your greater good. This separation was for y'all to realize what this connection is and what this connection meant to you or this person. Maybe children is a factor for the separation. Children is affecting this love. Are you realizing how you've let childish behaviors come up, come and separate y'all? You're realizing your actions are creating this tower moment. Your actions or your lack thereof actions are creating the problems within this connection or creating the problems with this person because someone is trying to control love and you're supposed to let love be free to love love don't cost a thing and as I say that what comes out true love so this is your true love that you're dealing with that romance that you've been looking for your whole life. And maybe that's why you had to go through a tower moment to realize this was your true love. Or this is your true love that you're in separation from. And now you realize that you're in separation from your true love. Confirmation. And you're ready to, to make sure that this true love deal that y'all come back into fruition. Maybe you're realizing now that this connection is a true love co connection, confirmation. And y'all will go to a higher level of commitment. They got true love and then they got wedding. So either someone that you're dealing with already have kids or this is saying you will have kids and get married to your true love that's going to produce kids. Reminder by the weekend. So maybe this person is getting signs and synchronicities to show how y'all are supposed to be together. You are the person that they're supposed to be with. Express your love and free yourself. So, you need to express how you feel so it can free the havoc, the chaos, the confusion, the holding back. 
a tower moment because you're not speaking your truth. And it says you deserve love and stay optimistic about your love life. So you need to realize that you will have this love, but anything worth having, you have to put in work. And sometimes they have to be a separation for two people to realize what the other person means and what this connection means. By y'all being in separation, you're realizing that you need to, you deserve love and to stay optimistic about this love because you know this is your true love. You know that expressing your love will bring y'all back into the 3D. Y'all needed this time apart. Y'all needed this separation to realize how when you are separated, when you are a, away from each other, when you're not in close proximity, when you're not speaking to this person, you're not able to feel at ease. Someone needs to release their ex before, or maybe that's what the situation is or the problem is. It's telling you to keep an open mind. So this person needs to release an ex. That's why y'all are in separation because they have possibly children with an ex that they've been trying to release. But this ex, maybe this ex that you were dealing with was not supposed to be causing a problem but they're causing issues and they're stopping you from getting to your true love because this person is holding on to you and they say give your relationship a chance so the universe is telling you that even though you're in separation you had to release an ex that you were possibly codependent on. This person that you're codependent on, this ex of yours, was a toxic ex. This was someone that you had to get away from. This was someone that you had to learn a lesson from. But you were realizing that you needed to learn this lesson. That's why you and your true love are in separation because you needed to see from a different aspect and what this connection really felt, what this call connection really meant. So they got dripped by Cardi B. So maybe y'all was codependent on each other or this person was codependent on that person because of what they provided, what they can give. And since they was able to give so much and be a good provider, that's why this third party that's holding on is codependent on that person because they know and they're aware that this person gives a lot to this connection. This person is a provider. This person does protect. This person does give all they can towards their relationship. They are all in when they are in a relationship. But now this person realizes that all this that they gave this other person, you are deserving of this person. You're deserving of this connection. You've been possibly new, but this person is now catching on to how they feel about you, how they're falling for you, how they're in love with you now, how you they have a feeling, or maybe you have the feeling that this person is coming towards you to express their love for you because you've been patiently waiting. You know this connection was going to come into the 3D. Let's see. I'm going to use my sexual deck to see what sexual thoughts your Aries are you having towards your Aries. And we're going to close out the reading and get y'all next 72 out for view. Okay. First card y'all got out 
and 69 cancer energy. I told you, y'all could be possibly dealing with a cancer or this person just want to do 69 with you. I don't know. They want you to give them a some good head. in the bedroom once y'all connect back let's do the wheelbarrow ride me backwards these two are matching so that's confirmation let's try the wheelbarrow this person probably want to come over and do a late night creep with you all these three match and this matches. I'm down for a threesome. So somebody's down for a threesome. Somebody wants 69. Somebody gonna be late night creeping. Wants you to ride them backwards. And you possibly could be happening tonight. Same color. So with that being said, y'all let me know in the comments what's really going on with y'all and y'all sex life. Ooh, child. Well, with that being said, let me get y'all an angel number. And this will be y'all bonus reading. Get y'all y'all bonus reading. Angel number. So y'all got 333 at the bottom. And 2323. So this says, seeing this number may mean that you are facing a period in your life that feels fearful or uncertain. Do not shy away from facing these difficult situations because they will build the mental toughness and fortitude you will need to overcome even more. So that's this person. Are you getting out your head to make that move? Your Ascended Masters are here to help you ignite your beautiful, creative, social, and communicative abilities. Your initiate gifts are from God so that you may manifest them on earth. Continue to stay true to you. So, Aries, this is y'all bonus read. Love sex and guidance this is y'all reading thank y'all for y'all love and y'all support thank y'all for the views i really appreciate it and i must definitely love y'all y'all have a wonderful day till next time